Internet trolls and the Philippines. The best advice I can give is just do not feed these idiots. Um, there's different reasons for trolling, by the way. I know some people fall out with other expats and get banned from channels and stuff. That's not trolling. Trolling is where um, you're, you're generating arguments, you're trying to create a issue that will create a response, and it's just a constant attacking of each other. You know, it, it's motivated about creating responses it's not motivated against just falling out over an opinion or something it's far deeper than that um but uh, i've seen something today where an expat's now jumped onto the uh harassment from the same troll i have and the only response i can say is just ignore it ignore the troll he relies on people actually talking to him if you don't talk to him the guy's just sort of a waste of space uh, which is his life um he failed in the Philippines. He's a failure in Europe. I mean, he talks about being retired, but he's actually still working because he cannot afford to retire. He doesn't own his property, etc., etc. Not that I'm running the guy down. It's just the fact is he has the typical attributes that a lot of trolls have, which is they're generally a failure. Um, they're quite lonesome people, argumentative, etc., etc., um, although when they're argumentative, it's generally I can hide behind the internet. You know, it's not they would confront you face to face because the guy is a real coward. Um, he was on holiday with a guy for two weeks um, in Bahol, and he complained about him when he got back to France. And then he's posting photos of the guy saying, "Oh, look at this guy!" Blah blah blah. People you know who know me have had run-ins with me will tell you I tell it to their face. I'm very blunt like that because if I've got an issue, I'll just, just state it and then that's it. It's dealt with. I, I'm not one for going around the houses. The same as with this guy's um, wall of shame as such. I contacted everybody on that list and found the ones that, I could, that responded were on the wall for... This idiot um, basically being banned from their forums and stuff. They were moderators and things like that. It was nothing seedy. It was nothing uh, untoward. But the guy writes a lot of nonsense and lies about people. I've, I've got loads of crap written about me. Um, but am I fussed about it? The answer is no. Um, if I was, I could go up to the guy's house because he's only north of me. He's, he's just in southern France. I could quite easily take a hammer to him. Um, but at the same time, the guy's a loser. So what, why would I actually want to um, let him impact my life in any way whatsoever? So the best advice, you get these guys, just push them to one side. It's a bit like um, there was there is a app that's online that you can add to, I think it goes on Firefox. But what it does, it changes all their conversations to meows. So every time they say something, it just says meow. You know, you can't see any words they put because it actually just basically mutes them um, to the point that they're not talking anymore. It's just cat noises. Um, myself, I'm quite happy to talk to people if they inject a bit of common sense and a, and a bit of decorum. But a lot of these people go, oh, I got banned because he didn't like me. Look... I'm not interested in liking people or whatever. Um, to like somebody involves actually meeting somebody. Conversations online, I like to keep on the topic of a conversation. Um, I get irritated on forums where people go off on a completely different tangent because the threads are there to keep everything in order. If you can't manage to keep it in order, then it just becomes a mangled mesh of mayhem. Uh, which doesn't help with sharing information. Um, I said before about the guy with the goats. The guy been doing goats for years, going to the going to Mandawi in Cebu, offering advice, and he was bringing in some uh, semen and stuff from wherever he was. I can't remember if it was Canada or whatever. So he's got high grade quality goats and whatever, and people just ranted on as if the guy wasn't there and just said there were opinions. This guy is actually a professional with goats 
but their opinions were far more important than the actual guy sharing advice and information that actually knew what he was talking about. But that, like I say, I've just gone off on a tangent myself there, but the point is, this is why some people end up getting banned, because they take things off on a tangent and go the, the wrong way. The other reason is they, they do um, threads and posts to incite racial hatred, um, depravity, and that sort of stuff, which is what my troll does. He creates threads relating to prostitution and other things, trying to create arguments because he's no, he knows he's going to get a response from multiple um, different types of people. Because you get some go, oh, it's okay. And a lot of people want to shout him down and say, no, it's not okay. And he does it on purpose. Um, he's just a horrible person. And have I met him in person? Well, no, because if I did, he'd probably be too much of a coward. He's, he's hides in his little hovel. Um, but, like I said, don't encourage them. Don't support them. Don't waste your time on it. Well, you know when somebody says, have you looked at this? It's a like the like the Facebook with the, um, what's it, uh, National Front type manipulation relating to soldiers and stuff where people like and share without, without realising that they're supporting fascist groups. It's the same thing. As soon as you start sharing it, you're, you're pushing it up the rankings on the internet. That's the last thing you want to be doing. So the personal, personal advice is don't take other people's word relating to other people. Ask them yourself. That's what I did with this wall of shame nonsense. I emailed the guys and they come back with all sorts of information. Some of them had documented information that actually showed it was completely contradictory to what the guy was actually stating they had done and... You know, I started looking when he started trolling me. He stole Facebook images via other people. Um, he he rewrote emails and all sorts. Complete nutcase. Um, but like I says, he he's obviously got nothing better to do with his life. Um, he's on a minimum pension, ten thousand euros a year. He's it's pennies. I've got that in the bank now. I've spent six thousand in the last two months, so I can't see. You know, his life's pretty, pretty grim by the sounds of it. But I'm not. Like I said, I'm trying not to run the guy down because the guy's just an idiot. He's. Um, it's very easy for me to tar target him because he is what he is. But at the same time, rise above it. Move on. Don't follow his posts. Don't go, you know, like I said, if somebody shares something to you, just advise them, say, look, you're helping this idiot push stuff up the internet. I'm not going to share it. I'm not going to look at it. And it's not me being, um, what do you call it? I'm not being, um, I'm, I'm not trying to blanket the information. It's just that it's fake. It's false. It's just made up nonsense. He's done at, at least 20 people. Um, and I know there's other people doing it out there and this will actually help stop it spread. Yeah.